we're getting some news just in from Parliament where we've seen Parliament has scrapped the motion to raise co capital for banks. The other news coming in from Parliament is that um, Parliament has actually rejected the bill that is set to cap interest rates. These are developing stories we have just received from Parliament and uh, we'll be giving you more details on this tomorrow as we bring you the day's business news. But we start off with the Nairobi Serena Hotel will be giving its facilities in Nairobi a facelift next year. A newly signed loan agreement with French agency Propaco. The hotel wants to capitalize on increased demand for business tourism. Keaton's Joy Dorin Bira spoke to the group's managing director, Mahmoud Jan Mohamed, and brings us this report. The year 2014 was a challenging one for the hotel industry, but for those in the coastal strip, it was an unprecedented business crisis resulting from a dip in international tourist numbers from traditional markets brought about by travel advisories and introduction of VAT on tourism services. Now hotels are looking at strategizing. They are diverting towards conference tourism, hoping that this will help bring in more income for the hotels. Serena Hotel has taken up a $20 million financing deal from French agency Propaco. Despite making profit in Rwanda and Uganda, TPS Eastern Africa posted its biggest loss yet of 139 million shillings in the six months through June this year, compared with a profit of 58 million shillings in the same period of 2014. Middle of July to end of October, you couldn't get a bed in the Mara because of migration. This year, some of us have done well in August. September doesn't look great. Uh, October at the moment on the books is not looking great. So, you know, when you look at the impact of the reduced tourist arrivals into Kenya, it is significant. But with the gloom lifting, the company is preparing for the future. Serena has signed an eight-year, $20 million loan agreement with French development institution Propaco to support the refurbishment and redevelopment of its Nairobi Serena Hotel, among others. Propaco has funded the construction of the Kampala Serena Hotel in Uganda, which will now include meeting facilities. Dar es Salaam Serena will also commence refurbishment in 2016, and the company has plans to construct a hotel in Burundi. This is why we are uh, building a facility that will take up to 500 people for conferences, 350 people for banquets. Uh, so yes. But even as Serena prepares for an upswing, the tourism sector is yet to emerge from the doldrums. We have new competition, so we've got to keep, keep, uh, keep at it to make sure that we maintain and grow market share. International tourist arrivals have fallen 25 percent from 381,278 to 284,313 in the same period last year. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN News.